welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick from the city of Hampton. And today I'm gonna to introduce you to a national winning team from a local college and you're gonna be surprised. My guests are from Thomas Nelson's dance, ballroom dance club, the sponsor, Pam Roberts, and the team captain, Faison Alexander. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for having us. We didn't know you had such a team. How long have you guys been there? Um, the team has been in existence, existence since 2016. Uh, the club so relatively new. I shouldn't be too new, embarrassed that right. I didn't know. No, no, but we've had a club for about eight years now running, and I've been the advisor for the last five. So when did you burst on the national scene and begin winning all these championships? We started out with some local regional competitions, Richmond, Williamsburg, and then we found out how big the collegiate ballroom circuit really was, and our first big scene was at nationals at the DCDI nationals at University of Maryland. Um, we walked in, it was very overwhelming. Uh, we have been at smaller competitions and uh, there's over 50 collegiate teams from all over. They're all Ivy League schools, Princeton, Columbia, NYU, uh, University of Michigan, and we were very overwhelmed. We were like the bad news bears in the ballroom world. Um, we walked in in our street clothes, we didn't have any fancy costumes, we ha didn't have proper dance shoes. Uh, first day, we didn't do so well, we didn't hit our strengths, but the second day where we hit our Latin and rhythm, that's our strength, and we came home with seven awards from our first nationals. That's, that's just yeah. so cool, because you guys only, I mean, Thomas Nelson is a place where average people stay for about two years, Correct. and you're competing against four-year colleges, so yes. people have a lot more time to get better. How do you do this? They are very dedicated. They practice all the time. Uh, we train at a studio in Virginia Beach with Sonia Spinoni and Ricardo Pacini. They're international champions. We're lucky to have them locally. Um, we go down there once a week and they are at the school practicing constantly in between classes. You find them in the hallways. We have a room where we have our, our meetings once a month, or once a week, actually twice a week now. And uh, they practice, they just, I mean, they just love it. You know, this is one of the things about Thomas Nelson that people don't know, that, you know, in its 50 year now, it's 51st year, it has changed from a commuter college where you go and take a class and leave to a campus environment where there's, there's sports. I mean, I've talked to the right. basketball team. There's, there's a lot of student activities now. But ballroom, why ballroom dance? Um, growing up, I always played sports, football, rugby. I boxed for a little bit. And um, I went to the Virginia Beach Latin Fest, and all these pretty girls were asking me to dance. And I didn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd learn, and I've been with it for three years, about three years now, and I've loved it ever since. That is unusual. Yeah. But so why do you love it? Um, it takes me out of my comfort zone to ask someone to dance and to be confident and to ask a stranger at that, and to look good, and to show off your skills. And it's something that a lot of people admire. You don't really notice it at first, but when you, people start to give you praise, and you start to win awards, it's self-esteem boosting. You know, and there certainly has been this sort of connection between dance moves and sports because of coordination, muscle control, all that kind of thing for a long time. But, but it's not the most popular thing, necessarily. <laughs> Um, so tell us, you guys have already been to several national championships, yes. and you have some coming up. Right. Uh, next week, we actually go to University of Maryland for the DCDI National Collegiate Championships. And then for the first time, we are going to the Grand Nationals at the Columbia University in New York City the first week of December. And so. um, that's going to cost some bucks. <laughs> Lots that's, of money. You know. Thomas Nelson doesn't have a ton of money to fund right. big travel teams. And we, we've had our funding cut, um, tuition is down all around uh, nationally, and that actually affects us as well. Um, when the economy is good, a lot of people aren't going back to school, having to do education. I never thought about that. Yes. Right. So it, it really hurts us, and no students, no funding. Um, we've been very lucky. Um, we're not as down as a lot of the schools are but we are still down. 
So funding is something we constantly are fundraising. The trip to New York is costing us over $11,000. But what a great opportunity. Exactly. For your students. We're not only representing our school, um, which they have definitely put us on the map because nobody ever heard of us. We're the only community college to be in the collegiate circuit. And we've, when uh, the first time we were at DCDI, after the, we were done and awards were handed out, the actual director of the competition and the head judge came to me, wanted to know who we were and where we were from. They'd never heard of us. And uh, so we're not only representing our school, but we're representing the entire peninsula area. Um, nobody's heard of Hampton. Right, right. You know, put Hampton on the map. Put Let's Hampton go. on the map. So, well, what is your background? How did you end up coaching <laughs> an award-winning team? Um, I've been in dance. I did drum corps growing up. Uh, twirled, uh, you know, the whole stuff in the '70s and '80s. Growing up, uh, took dance lessons all my life. I majored in fine arts. And uh, I just love it. And one of my coworkers is one that actually she was going to the, the, our lessons are free. They're open to anyone at the college and even open to people outside. She goes, hey, you gotta, you know, it's our lunch hour, let's go. So that's how I got involved. And then we just took it from there. It was a lot of fun and I love interacting with our students. Um, they keep me young, they keep me on my toes. Um, they're a great group of kids and just watching them from where we started to where we are now has just been amazing. And you teach at Thomas Nelson? I do not. I work, uh, I am support staff. I okay. work in student accounting, so I handle their finances. Cool. Yeah. And uh, Vizan, how did you end up at Thomas Nelson? What is your background? Why are you at Thomas Nelson? Where do you want to go from here? Um, I took Thomas Nelson because after basic, I thought it was the best option to get my prereqs out the way. And uh, basic, I, you better explain that part. Basic are, training. I'm in the Army National Guard. National Guard, okay. As an infantryman. Um, I think I'd like to pursue uh, psychology and eventually get my doctorates. Wow, big plans. You're going to stay um, in the National Guard? What's that time commitment there? Um, I have four years down. I'm on my fifth year right now. Wow. I have one more year left. After that, um, I think I'd go in the Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> and you come from a military family, right? Yes, I do. So what, um, what is the future, do you think, for this club? Like, is this, boy, everything came together, these are the students, or you think it's got momentum now and it's going to keep going? We definitely have momentum. We are the lar one of the largest clubs on campus. We are the most active club on campus. And we ha actually have club Get competitions out. every year for club of the year. And we're the reigning club of the year for the last four years. So we are, they're kind of the top dogs on campus. Um, everybody knows who they are. Uh, they can walk through the hallways and say, hey, aren't you on that, you know, part of the ballroom team? And um, we're always out at the events dancing, getting people to dance. They're very visible around campus and they're great ambassadors for the school. So what causes that? Like, you know, okay, at a big school, a big four-year school, it's going to be the football team that, that are the cool ones. And obviously, Thomas Nelson is not big enough to have a football team. So, right. but, but how how does that happen? Is it organic? Is it because of your personality and some of the other dancers, or I is think there a resurgence in ballroom dance? I think it's definitely the personality of the team. The team is really close. We hang out outside of school, but we're constantly getting people to just dance with us or teach lessons, and people will always sing us dance, always. Whether it's practice or we're dancing in the hallways for whatever reason, they are complimenting us. They're asking us when our practices are and. If we want to learn something, we'll teach you. It's that simple. It's just fun. It's, it's fun. just fun. You can be really good at it, but you don't have to be really good at correct, it. Correct, correct. Um, you start out in the club, and those that aspire to join the team, they, we teach them you know, everything they need to know, and they, we kind of audition, see who, who's ready to go to competition, and then we just take it from there. I will say, I watched you guys perform at City Council, and you just look like you're enjoying it. And, and that is a huge thing, because sometimes when you watch people play sports, they don't look like they're having fun. Right. They're intense, right. but it's, it doesn't look like something I want to get up and do. Right. This looks like something I want to get up and it do. It is, and anybody can do it. Maybe not, you know, championship, not to that level, competition right level, away, at least, but, but um, they, they go to several social events, you know, around, uh, they go Latin nights all over. 
anywhere there's dance and they're very visible and they just have a really good time and that comes over to the campus, you know, other kids see them. And you know what else it might be? Ballroom dance used to be maybe more stodgy music. Right. And with the infusion of Latin, it's become more popular music. You could actually Absolutely. go out to a club and hear it, whereas, you know, for a while there, that's not <laughs> what you would hear in a club. It's And Dancing with the Stars, maybe. I mean, there that is, is some. Since Dancing with the Stars has come out, it has been a real big insurgence of the ballroom scene. You know, you have your clubs popping up all over. Local studios are now offering, you know, ballroom and ballroom nights. Uh, so that's definitely helped the sport itself. Okay. Well, I want to stop talking so that we can watch you guys dance. <laughs> and your partner is going to be today? Tierra Johnson. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to cut the interview part off awesome. and go dark for a second and come back. Ha <laughs> ha 